Good afternoon and welcome to the Hofstra Women's Basketball Postgame Press Conference with head coach Danielle Shepard and Uh Coach, before we get your thoughts on the game, uh, you honored six seniors today. What did it mean to be able to you know, celebrate them in the MAC one last time? Yeah, we. I mean, we've got a group of seniors that have really poured into this program and have, have left a, a mark and an, and an impact for sure and, and being a part of the foundation of this program. And they're just such great basketball players, but just special people to me and, and my family and um, I, I, I just, they have been and, and have become a part of our family, part of our family at Hofstra, but also part of my, my family at home. And they're again, just incredible people that, that have, have made an impact on so many. And, you know, moving from senior day to game, what were uh, some of your thoughts on all of those honors? Yeah, we, our start, again, we had a bit of a slow start, but in different, different, right? We were get, we were getting stops. Um, defensively, and then we allowed that that run there in that middle of the quarter to finish it out. That fifteen zero run, that was a different second half. You know, it's it's a game of two halves. Second half, we we win the second half, um, but again, put ourselves in such a deep hole to to start the game. It was tough to overcome. Coach Yeah, I think it's a, a, a testament to the game. We we couldn't find the bottom of the net tonight. We we just couldn't from the layups to the free throws to the three point shots. We we just couldn't find it. Um, I thought a difference in this game than some of the other games. We were getting the the shot opportunities. We weren't getting pat, giving those shots up to turnovers. We were actually getting the shots. Um, we weren't able to find it tonight. I, I thought we were getting good rhythm shots, especially to start the game as well. Um, weren't able to to convert. Coach, uh, you know, coming off of the you know, coming out of the half, you guys kind of had a quick little start. What was the message after that first half? Uh, we had to let that first half go, and and we said, listen, we we were getting great shots. We need to take a deep breath so that we were able to to knock them down. Um, when we missed our first couple, I felt like we got tight um, and and got a little uh, uh, doubtful in our shot. And second half, we just came out and we said, listen, we got great shots. It's going to fall. Just continue to shoot it. Continue to attack. Continue to be aggressive and. I felt like they came out with that mentality and we were able to hit our first few. So, you guys fall in the turnovers again. Obviously, you know, the points that you guys fell somewhere in the game there. And obviously, the turnovers don't look working well. What went on in that game? Um, I thought they were able to play in a, a better rhythm, more poise, more composure. Um, our passes were, we were setting ourselves up to be in better opportunities to make the pass. We weren't overpassing. Um, less forced passes. Uh, we were able to be to move the ball and move ourselves in, in a much better uh, execution. Coach, uh, in a, same, a similar vein, 23 turnovers for Mana. Uh, what exactly did you see from your team to force uh, Mana to turn over so many times? Uh, we turned up our pressure. Turned up our pressure. We were able to get some stuff out of our traps. Um, we'd be able to, we, we were able to get some transition buckets um, from those turnovers is what we were looking for. I thought they did a good job of, of pressuring and, and getting after it. Uh, hi, Coach. The offense couldn't stay consistent tonight. What are some adjustments you're making with the court was so close? Yeah, again, I thought we got great shots. So I think that's the difference in, in some of our other games. I thought we were able to get good shots, especially shots right there at the rim. Um, we've got to we, – it's in our head at this point, right? It's in our head, and, and it's a mental block. Um, we've got to be able to just set up, step up and hit those shots. We're more than capable. Um, and have the ability to do so. Now it's just having the confidence to step up and get it done. Before the game, there was a very touching senior day ceremony. What are the emotions like throughout the whole game as these players wrap up their Hofstra career? Yeah, they wanted to get it done for those seniors tonight. Um, and I think the seniors really wanted to get it done when, when you're getting, you know, when you're starting to wind down and you're looking at, at what's next, right? Um, we've got some that are graduating, some that have the, uh, have those years uh, and, that, and that COVID year available. Um, but as you get close, it, it, it means a little bit more. It means, it, it means a little bit more. And, and I think everybody wanted to be able to get it done for those seniors. Coach Brooke Anya, uh, nine rebounds, seven points, fouled seven times, had trips to the free throw line, kind of five of ten from the field. How would you like her aggressive yeah, I'm proud that she was able to stay in it, right? She got really frustrated. As you can see, she didn't shoot it well tonight. 
Um, but she continued to rebound. She continued to impact the game in other ways. She continued to have a defensive presence on the defensive end. Um, she continued to force some turnovers and to be able to come up with some steals. Um, four steals on the game, nine rebounds. You know, she uh, she continued, got, got to the free throw line ten times. Um, she definitely continues to impact the floor, and that's what you want to see. When your shot's not falling, then you got to find other ways to be able to have an impact on the floor, and then I thought she stayed aggressive in doing that. Diane, here with a trip back to North Carolina at Duane at the end. Um, this, this, uh, this late in the season, NCAA, the, the CAA tournament's right on the horizon. You know, what's the message you want to send to these kids? We got nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose, and, and we've got to go out playing as hard as we can with the sense of urgency that we've got to play with. Um, we're not going to give up. We're not going to roll over. We, we're going fin to finish these two games, um, continuing to look to see some growth in this team and continuing to look to prepare ourselves for the tournament. Press conference. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.